so uh, touching my face, right? I'm not supposed to do that. <laughs> it's Monday, April 6th. Um, how am I doing? Fine, you know, just doing fine. Or I'm doing great. Um, okay, not really. I'm just doing okay. Um, and I'm sitting outside. It's kind of loud. Fountains are going, but this isn't Hollywood, so I'm not going to set the stage, the sound, or... <laughs> There's no production to this. Got kids over in the trampoline jumping, neighbor across the way here, people doing yard work. Um, but I was thinking about that question, how are you doing? And this was spurred on by some podcasts I was listening to, um, just by conversations I'm engaged in. And I think, I think most of us, for the most part, would be like, we're doing pretty good. That's what we'll say at least, or I'm doing good, I'm hanging in there. Um, I think a lot of us say that because we're trying to set a good tone for people or if we're leading a certain organization or trying to lead our, our family, right? And we're in relationships, we're, we're trying to keep things afloat. And you know, there's a, there's a place, there's a balance with like all out panic, like the world's on fire and too stoic, like I got it all together. And so what's the reality? And I think, you know, the question, how are you doing is really important right now, but then to pause and go, okay, no, how are you really doing? And so I found myself for the last two days picking up the phone and calling people that normally I don't usually call. I just send a text to or an email, um, called a bunch of people today, sent a couple of text people, um, cause it fits with our communication style right now. And also the busyness of their schedule. And I simply just said, how are you really doing? Um, and I got some really, I think just open, honest, surprising answers. And I think, um, for me, I'm doing okay. We have our ups and downs. Some days are better than others. I didn't sleep at all last night. It's one of those nights where you wake up and, um, try to go back to bed, but you just feel like you're being called to get up and just, you know, pray or think about things. And so I kind of just wandered around the house, um, thinking about people, praying for people. Um, actually got on and chatted with a friend who I knew, um, I didn't know he was up, but I just kind of found out at the last moment he was up. And so we chatted a bit and just kind of checked in with each other. And I think there's this interesting move going on right now where, um, people are calling people and talking to people they haven't really talked to in a while. And people are also taking the extra step, which is to pick up the phone or to actually drive somewhere and run the window and talk to someone uh, from a socially distant um, perspective. And I think, you know, in our culture, texting is really the lowest bar, to be honest with you, right? Um, we just text, happy birthday, how are you doing? And it doesn't, that doesn't take much, it's a little bit of effort. Email is not much of an effort, but writing a letter to someone or picking up the phone call, that's kind of an effort. That, that says, you know, I, I thought about you enough to pause and to stop and to take time and to do something. And so I think right now, something I've really been thinking about, I don't have a lot of answers to it. I'm not saying I'm the expert by any means, is one, um, stopping people from just giving the fine answer, I'm okay. And just saying, no, how are you really doing? Um, Someone said the other day, Esther Perel, who had this phenomenal podcast with Tim Ferriss, she's a well-known, um, kind of globally um, known uh, therapist and um, expert on relationships. She said, if someone says they're doing great right now, they're just disconnected from reality, disconnected from their feelings. And I think people can be doing great in some ways, but we're, I think I get what the point is, we're disconnected from the realities at large, which are people are losing their jobs, people are hurting, people are dying. Um, people are feeling isolated and lonely. People are depressed. There's suicide. Um, healthcare workers are suffering. Uh, there's a lot of uncertainty. And the reality more is that maybe we're doing okay on some days and not okay on some days. And so I think, one, you can answer that question for yourself and go, okay, how am I really doing? Assess that for yourself. And then two, the people around you, um, don't let them give just the simple answer. Have them dive a little deeper. Um, have them be honest with themselves. Try to help put language to stuff. I know. Uh, for my son who's nine and my daughter who's 12, you know, they're at this stage and age where they're starting to identify language to express how they feel. And, you know, they're way ahead of the game than probably, well, for sure than I was. Um, but language is power. Understanding that's power. Communicating that's power. Helps them understand themselves, helps others understand them. And so sometimes they don't know what they're feeling. I may throw out different words to see if certain words land on them in a specific way just to help them navigate this um, stage. So number one, Go beyond the initial greeting, and I've gotten some surprising answers from people. And it's just because I've pressed more than usual. I've had people pause and reach out to me and say, no, how are you really doing? Um, and that's been really important for me. And then two, um, think about creative ways or different ways to, to connect people and see how they're doing. I'd love to know your care. Don't, just texts are fine, right? I, I text a lot of people during the day. I think the other day, um, 
on one thread alone with some guys that I'm in relationship with. There were 300 texts between us in a 24 hour period, just in one thread. And all the texts that day, it's probably like a typical teenager. I probably had over 2000 texts um, and people just checking with each other. And you know, text is good to do, but I would encourage you to think about some other ways to communicate. Again, write a letter to someone, um, pick up the phone and talk to someone so they can hear your voice so don't feel isolated and get in the car. I don't care if it's um, a five minute drive or a five hour drive and drive to somewhere and just see someone face to face. I drove down to Dallas the other day to take care of some errands and decided to drop by my, bro my brother's house and just drop some things off for him. I knocked on the door and I ran back and I just talked to his wife and him and his two kids uh, just for a couple of minutes. And that was, that felt meaningful to me. So think about pushing beyond the I'm fine. Um, I think it's especially critical, man, if you're in a leadership position and you're managing people, they, they need to know there's a safe place and that you really care. Because people sometimes I think protect, um, they protect us from themselves by giving us the, the simple answer. They don't know if we can handle that, right? Um, and two, just think about going beyond the text, right? And um, again, maybe the text leads to a FaceTime call. Um, it's a season to be creative. Uh, I never thought, man, I'd be in this stage. I like talking on the phone, I always have, but you know, I've just been so busy. Texting is so much easier and I don't have to get in this long phone call, but I've really valued picking up the phone and hearing someone's voice. So anyways, just thinking about those two things, push beyond the I'm fine, and to think about some different creative ways to connect to people. I think people hear things in a different way also. Um, I'm sure these are things that you're already ahead of me on or you're thinking through. Hope you guys are doing good. Um, I hope, you know, it's a little gloomy out and the weather influences my mood a lot, but you know, I like being outside, hearing the water. <sighs> the weather's pretty nice, except for the sun's not out. So hopefully you guys are having a good day. Um, we'll check in again and see how the rest of the week is going soon. Thanks for checking this out. We'll talk to you later.